Pleasure. We're going to do that a little bit. Yeah. Um, right, so this is Dave. Dave is known as Sourcescape. Yep. Um, and basically, I follow him because he shoots some incredible aerial photography and That's videography. Very kind. But mostly just because he's kind of a sound guy. Decent. Appreciate it. Yeah. Appreciate it. Most of the time. Nice. So yeah, Dave, most of the time, yeah. So tell us, what is, what is Sourcescape? Um, doesn't have to be on his Instagram page, just what is Sourcescape, the essence? The of essence it? of Sourcescape is just a specialist aerial photography and video company based in Northern Ireland and service in UK and Ireland. Okay. So it was born about from me working in a job that I particularly didn't enjoy, wanted to do something different and had a lot of connections and networks in that creative industry and wanted to explore that, had a drone and then started taking video and pictures and thought this is pretty cool and then rolled into making a company out of it and thankfully it's been an amazing experience so far. Cool, so you're doing a, you're doing a mixture of your own photo and film stuff, like your own produce, but you're also doing commercial work. So yeah, so the, the majority of it obviously is with the, getting the license side, it means that I can get paid for the work that I do. So essentially I can do work for other people and get them okay, photos cool. and videos. Yeah, and yeah. then on that, being flexible and being self-employed enables you to have the time and the freedom to do some side projects and things like yeah. that. So we've worked with some like really cool collaborations so far and hopefully yeah. some more. You were an accountant and then you became a drone, a yeah. droner, yeah. right? A drone drone Dronist? Drone artist? Droner? Dronographer? Dronographer? Drone I like <laughs> I dronographer, yeah. that's, that's yeah. good. So why, what, at what point did you say, I'm going to do drone aerial stuff? What, what made, like, what was that? That transition? How did you get from, I'm going to so, I'm going to do drone stuff? So essentially just had a toy drone oh, right, that okay. I was flying about oh, right. and, and in the house and stuff, because it was a really small one. Yeah. It was bought as a secret Santa gift, I think. Okay, one so of those little like... One of the yeah. wee tiny ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Understand what ha happened in here. And then saw some videos and then looked into it and obviously knew here with Northern Ireland, like the scenes you can get, yeah, Ireland yeah. and the UK in total, like the scenes you can get for such yeah, yeah. a tight, small area, and the places exactly. that you can film is is uh, it's very feasible to be able to do it from a drone perspective. Yeah. Now, weather isn't great, but... But that's cool. But that's that's because a lot of people now will be seeing drone stuff and wanting to buy a drone to film it, but you've come from a, I was playing with a toy drone and thought, how this could be so cool well, you if still I actually to, you did still this have right. To, like, you but still the, have to understand how to fly, yeah. obviously, and, and what yeah, to yeah. do in different situations. That's the, that's the big point, because the technology, uh, a lot of it these days does have most of the GPS tracking and stuff, yeah, yeah. so it allows it just to sit in one place. Well, everybody seems to have them. Do you find yourself coming up against a lot of people saying, well, I know a guy who's got a drone, can I not just get him? No, I mean, it's it's the same as everything in the photo and video world. If you're providing content that is of a decent enough standard, then you're going to be able to get out there and get word of mouth going, and people are going to be able to network with you and chat to you and talk to you about like what you're doing and how you're doing it and what you're using because the technology ranges from you know stuff you can buy for five six hundred pounds through to the thousands upon thousands of pounds and the camera specs and stuff like that the same yeah. as this sort of technology here yeah i suppose so i suppose so i always give dave a load of like abuse because i try to get him to do real illegal stuff with the drone which is why i, I call him the drone police because he knows every rule well not every rule but the majority the of majority the rules. of rules, a lot of rules. He's, he's, you're 100 legal everything you do oh yeah so it's fully licensed board. and insured so that means that like if someone comes to us then it means that we can do the work and then obviously in the long run ensure they're happy with it and then get paid for it that's the commercial side what's the one thing that people don't understand about using a drone say in the city or in a town what is what is the one thing people think because like i assu i assume that i could just buy a drone throw it up film a couple of shots like today i just be like yeah. i want to run the drone yeah, down course, here yeah what do you what do people not understand about that so it's all about it's all about safety and ensuring that nothing happens that impacts that sort of industry so you're constantly doing situational awareness the big thing is just the awareness on that there are regulations and also that obviously to do work and to sell the work from it or to do a service for someone it has to be you have to be commercially licensed for that okay now if you there are tons of amazing amazing guys and girls who have drones and do photography and video with them for themselves and it's incredible and the stuff they're producing is amazing yeah, yeah. Um, and they may not be commercially licensed but if it's for themselves and self-promotion that's okay but it's yeah. whenever it spirals into doing it for other people or working for companies or individuals videographers photographers yeah yeah that's exactly. where you need the license exactly. And there wouldn't be any issue with that it's a waste waste management here wait until he's oh he's going to empty that bin is he <laughs> Oh yeah, empty, right. Yeah, yeah. Empty that bin. yeah, yes. Right by a bin. He's gonna empty that exact bin. 
Oh, it's going to that one first. Unbelievable, unbelievable. That's cool. So, if, so I, if I just came down with like a DJI Spark and threw it up here and filmed like, that's the noise. Allow me, like chucked it in this. Yeah, video. that's a speed too. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's Ooh, just like that's easier yeah. to control. Racing drone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I stuck it in this, and then it would be fine. No one would say anything. But if someone if someone saw that video, even though this was non-profit, they could I could get a fine for that. Well, it's more so it's more so the area that you're filming in. Okay. Rather than what you're doing. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. for example, if you'd closed off the road on that end, or the road on that end, Shit, that's hot. And, <laughs> and oh. my chat, or yeah, your yeah, chat, yeah, 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 yeah. And um, if you closed off the road on that end, the road on that end, and then basically had permission from the buildings that were about to do it, yeah. then you could, you could do it. Okay. And you could do it safely and ensure that no one's at risk. So, so a lot of it's no about one. just understanding and respecting. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's situational awareness too for the for the risk side. But then that comes, that, that falls into it. And I guess the more you do it and the more you understand what is there in terms of yeah, yeah. Uh, regulations and how the drone reacts in different situations. As you said, we've done, so, we done, yeah. done some great like indoor work with a few amazing videographers around Belfast and like companies around Belfast. And it's just appreciating like how the drone's going to react in different environments. Yeah. What do you find is the most exciting thing about doing drone and aerial photography now in Northern Ireland? Oh, the most exciting thing is actually like working with the um, like incredible talent that's here, okay. like creativity wise. He hasn't worked with me, by the way. Yet. Keeps refusing. Yet. Keeps refusing. I've been emailing, calling, texting. This must have a different number or something, buddy. Did that, well, <laughs> is that that? <laughs> zero seven 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 seven. Yeah, yeah, seven, yeah, seven. yeah. Um, But no, it's working with those guys, collaborating with those guys. Uh, working in the environment that we have um, and obviously like nature of Northern Ireland is you can come here you can get some shots at Harland and Wolf yeah. and then an hour down the road you're at Causeway Coast yeah yeah exactly and you're getting views exactly. of like that area and that's why yeah, yeah. capturing that perspective of Northern Ireland is incredible even if it was just portfolio work yeah and um, to see that on like a daily basis is just ridiculous. Yes. Thank you very much. No worries. Appreciate Cheers. it. We've gone with that pen. And then and this shape. one, and then that, that one, one, and then that one, and then that one. Then we'll explode that up. That's yeah. cool. Right. It's uh, we've got to, we've got to head mm -hmm. on. Here, like, mm -hmm.